Hello, welcome back to my Direwolf 1.6 mod pack tutorial series. So, I haven't moved out of the hole in the wall yet. I dug out the base a little bit, I made the ceiling a bit higher, and I put the enchanting table down. I didn't enchant any armor, I actually uh, went ahead and tried to get a, a nice bow. Um, I didn't get infinity, so since I have no arrows, the bow is a bit worthless right now, but... Um, Oh well. So what are we going to do in this episode? So I told you we would make something to do a little bit of automation for the smeltery. If you've tried to put a lot of stuff in here, you'll notice that 18 sometimes isn't very much. I've got 54 copper ore right here and at 18 apiece I'm going to have to wait around and then click on it and you see that it pours out a bit slow and it takes a while to solidify and then it can only have one in there, so you have to take it out before it can get another one. So, I have to do just a little bit of quick automation, and we're going to use a couple things for this. We're going to use a couple hoppers, a chest, and we're going to use a redstone clock from Extra Utilities. So, a redstone clock will emit... Well, it does a lot of things, actually, but it can press the right mouse button for you once every second. It's just kind of handy this way. It needs smooth stone, redstone, and a redstone torch. So I don't have a redstone torch. Let's see here. I need to make one of those. And I should have everything else. So there we go. A redstone clock. I also need to get some hoppers from Vanilla Minecraft. We're going to use one hopper to put more stuff into the smeltery. And, oh, I need two more chests. I promise you I'd be organized. I'm not organized. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm close, though. All right. Okay, I need two more chests. Just a second. Get the two more chests I need. Okay. I forgot hoppers need chests. Okay, so we need two hoppers and one of them is going to go on top of the smeltery controller. It can put things into the smeltery. The other one is going to go under the chest or under the under the casting basin and we'll put our other chest right here and we'll put our hopper right here and with the crescent hammer I can adjust, I can't see it, but I can adjust it. That looks right. So, I can only put 18 things in here, but if I put things into the hopper, and you want to make sure that you have multiples of 9 going in here, and the reason is that it can hold multiples of 9, and then it will double the production, so and if you're going to make a block of something, you need 9 ingots worth. So 9 ores will get you 18 ingots or 2 blocks. If you have too many blocks, or sorry, if you don't have enough blocks, you will start pouring things out and it will just kind of get stuck in here until you have enough of the material. And sometimes having 2 faucets and pouring things in 2 places confuses the smeltery. So you don't want to do that. So the copper is smelting up. And all we have to do for the redstone clock is just set it right there. It's going to emit, it's going to make that button be pressed. And as soon as the copper is actually melted up, you will see that it will, yep, there it goes, pouring stuff out. It does this weird start-stop thing. I'm not really sure why it does that. Maybe it's some kind of redstone signal, but don't worry, it will eventually get there. And you don't have to sit here and, and, and watch it, so, you know. It will just pour in here. When it's got enough in here, it'll wait and harden. Once it hardens, the hopper puts it into the chest. There we go, a block of copper. And it's smelting up more stuff. It's got 18 more, because that's how many I had that were multiples of nine. And it'll just, you know, make these. I don't have to sit here and wait for it. So that's a kind of nice automation. Um, there's another Tinker's Construct concept or block called clear glass and clear glass 
has what's called connected textures, where if you put the clear glass next to each other, instead of looking like two blocks, it ends up looking like one clear piece of glass. And that's really nice. So, you know what? We're definitely going to move out of this hole in the ground at some point. I'm not sure if it's going to be this episode, but we're definitely getting out of here. I want to use some clear glass. And you can actually just put sand right into the smeltery. It'll melt up into molten glass. And then you can pour it into the casting basin. One piece of sand gets you one piece of clear glass. And this will come in handy quite a bit for when we want to do that. And we can leave the rest on clock here. It's fine. Um, it, it's, it's fine like right where it is. So it'll just keep making copper until we don't have any more copper to make. The hopper's done, the smeltery has melted up all the copper, and uh, it'll just make blocks until it's done. So that's the redstone clock and a couple of hoppers that we can use to do some partial automation. Now I want to make a couple of more thermal expansion machines. I want to make a pulverizer and a redstone furnace. I forget what they used to call it in Thermal Expansion 2, but they've renamed a lot of stuff Redstone. They like Redstone Flux. They just like throwing the name Red. They like throwing the word Redstone around in there. That's fine. So it's a Redstone Furnace now rather than whatever they used to call it. Electric Furnace? Induction Furnace? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, I need a pulverizer. Um, I need some string so that I can get a backpack from Project Red, just a generic backpack. I've already got the knapsack, but you know when you're down mining and you want to spend a long time, you don't want to come back, it's just nicer to have more place to carry stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna get another backpack we can carry just generic stuff in. But I need string for that. Now you can get string from cotton, but you have to grow it, it takes a while, and I used up all my string making the bookshelves. I use them to make books, Tinker's Construct material, uh, recipe books, because I only had 15 pieces of leather, and I didn't want to wait for my cows to populate. So I had to make 30 books, I think. Yeah, 30 books from the Tinker's Construct recipe, which required 30 pieces of string. So I used up all my string and all my cotton, which I was saving to make that backpack. But if you pulverize wool, you will get four string for it. You can't put it in the grindstone. I guess that recipe isn't there. Um, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make the pulverizer now. So I want to make the pulverizer. It needs a piston, some flint, a machine frame, a redstone reception coil, and copper ingots. The reception coil is redstone around gold. So I'll make one of those. I need a machine frame that's gold with glass and iron. So we'll make one of those. And I already have a piston, some copper and flint. I should have everything I need now. So there we are, there's a pulverizer. And I also want the Redstone Furnace. There's a lot of furnace names in here, but here we go. Redstone Furnace. Machine frame, bricks, copper, redstone reception coil, and some more redstone. Machine frame. Glass. Iron. Gold. Done. Uh, bricks I already have. Copper I already have. Redstone reception coil. Again, gold surrounded by redstone in that little pattern. Okay, so now I can make a redstone furnace. And I've decided I'm going to put them both right here for now. Once I get some more machines, we'll put them, you know, somewhere better, but this is fine for now. And I need to connect them to the power. So I'm going to dig back here and I'll run the power back here. Let's see, how am I going to do this actually? Yeah, it needs to go from the energy cell. I'm kind of wondering if I need that Leadstone Energy Conduit to transfer energy to the cell, or if I can go right from the dynamo. You know what, that's okay, I will do it anyway. Um, I will just put Leadstone, Leadstone, 
whetstone. As you can see, the yellow side, it doesn't connect, but once I put this, which way are we facing here? This is, this is the front? No, this is the front. Can, I don't know if you can see this, the like the pattern of um, like lines, that tells you that's the front. So it's darker when it's less full. It's completely bright, or well, not completely, but brighter than this when it's full. It's darker when it's low on energy and brighter when it's high on energy. So this is actually the left side. Oops, I don't want that, I want that. And now you can see they are slowly powering up their internal buffers. They have 48,000 redstone flux apiece for their internal buffer. So that's fine. So I'm going to block this back off. And let me get a piece of wool. I will show you that we can... Is that wool? There we go. That we can get string. Go to the configuration. The different colors are input sides. Shift click on the center to turn them all off. I don't want the output going anywhere right now. So, wool in the pulverizer makes four string. Awesome. If we wanted, we could also um, pulverize ore and cook it up. So, let's see here. So, can I do gravel ore? I'm not really sure if I can do gravel ore in there. Take a piece of copper too, just in case I can't do gravel ore. So, I will... Looks like I can. I pulverize gold gravel ore, and I get pulverized gold. If I turn the output side, the right, I turn the input side to blue, we will get this in the redstone furnace. And there we are. Two gold ingots. Nice. So we have another way of pulverizing and macerating and cooking other than just using the smeltery. So there we have it, some more thermal expansion. And as you can see, the smeltery is empty again. We have 12 blocks of copper. So 54, math is hard, hang on. 54 times two divided by nine is 12, 12 blocks. So that is perfect. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be wrong, but... Okay, I can right-click and get more ingots. Also, sometimes you get different recipes. There's a machine that will convert them all using the OR dictionary so that you don't have to use multiple slots. Sometimes you can put them back into their block form, but it will be a different block form. So. Now I have industrial craft copper blocks, which go into industrial craft copper ingots, which I can stack. So there we go. All right, so well that covers a couple of thermal expansion machines. Boy, I am not liking this setup at all. This, this is just weird to be up high like this and I think we're gonna... I'm gonna have to think about what I actually want to do, but um, I'm not liking the setup right now. So I will think about that and we'll come back and do something else. Okay, so the pulverizer served its job pretty well. We had just enough wool and string to get 64 string, which is enough to make that backpack I wanted from Project Red. And I also want to make a machine from Buildcraft, the filler, which is great at clearing out areas and filling in areas and making um, square outlines. So, you know, big block rectangles so that you can make, you know, little housing areas. So that's really handy. So I'm going to make the filler first. The filler needs ink sacks, a landmark, a crafting table, a chest two yellow dye, and two gold gear. So I don't have the landmark, which requires a redstone torch, which I also don't have. So I need one of those. I need 
a landmark, which is the redstone torch and lapis. And I need the two gold gears, which need iron gears, which need stone gears, which need wood gears. Very thorough. Build craft well done. So, um, I need two wood gears to make two stone gears to make two iron gears to make two gold gears and if you remember when I made the copper gears for the magmatic or the steam dynamo I said I like the thermal expansion recipe better which just has iron in the middle then you surround it by the other metal you want that's why I like the thermal expansion recipes better because the build craft you always start with wood and then go to stone and then go to iron and then it's this big hierarchy and that's fine it just doesn't seem very realistic but it's not important. Okay, I've got the gold gear, the filler. I think I can make it now. Okay, yes, I can. All right, and I also wanted to make that backpack from Project Red, which requires eight of these woven cloth and um, some bone meal. Woven cloth is eight string and a stick. So eight times eight, 64 string and eight sticks. There we go, eight string or eight woven cloth and bone meal in the middle gets me a white backpack and the white backpack it's just another inventory nothing special it's just another place to hold stuff when you're out mining so those are two things um, in the next episode I'm definitely gonna work on getting out of this hole in the ground um, shouldn't be too hard I didn't mention it but um, like I said, you can move the seared tank. There's no problem with doing that. You break it with a pickaxe, it's fine. It holds the lava in there. That's kind of cool. So I had no problem moving the smell tree when I moved it over to make space for the enchanting table. So, okay, I'm going to wrap up there. Um, next time, we will be going outside, building a house, moving the machines. We will probably get some more thermal expansion stuff, or maybe we'll start industrial crap. I'm not really sure yet. Um, I know I need to do more mining, and now I've got a lot of the tools I needed to do some good mining. I'm hoping I can find a mine shaft which has some nice chests in it. I'd like to find some ender lily seeds from Extra Utilities. They allow you to grow ender pearls, and that's really handy because sometimes endermen just hide. I, I don't know where they go, but sometimes they just don't spawn anywhere. So that would be nice to have. Um, it, it seems like that would be kind of overpowered, but it actually takes a very, very long time for them to grow, and you can't, well, it's very rare to get extra seeds from the ender lily seeds. So it's, it's not like you can make a farm and just expand it, you know, like crazy, like, like you can with, with wheat or, you know, carrots or whatever. So you usually only find four or five at a time. Um, so it's... I think the balance is pretty good. I would also like to find a builder's wand. I found them in chests several times and um, if we find one I'll show you what that does because it is pretty cool. It is I think also from extra utilities. So okay, um, well we'll see you later.